Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. It's either fair hooked or I've got a big 50 centimetre. Because that's massive. Oh, yes. Good fish. Oh. Welcome back, everyone. It's this glorious winter's afternoon with a, with a quite a good breeze. I'll explain more when we get down to the gutter that's looking absolutely fantastic this afternoon too when we get down there explaining about the weather conditions. So I've made it down to the gutter that looks like it's going to produce. You can see no waves breaking for a prolonged period of time just here. That's what I'm looking for. It's deep right up to the sand here too. So I'm liking this. On sunset hopefully it fires up. I've seen something further down, but I'm going to keep that spot for near sunset. So, for now, we're here. You can probably hear me now. I've got a northwesterly wind behind my back. Now, in South Australia, it's a good, good wind direction to have when chasing salmon. If you get an easterly along the metro beaches or even down here at, at Parsons or Waipenga, they tend to shut down in fact in the metro area they might not shut down but they're a lot further away from the shoreline when chasing salmon with lures I'm only talking with lures because with bait anything could happen so I'm explaining I'll just show you on a map on a weather map what I'm looking at we've got cloudy conditions it's overcast and on this particular weather map, we've got a northwesterly flow. There's no cold front coming until a couple of days, but that build up, that northwesterly build up, along with the unstable air mass, just judging by the clouds here as we look around, it's a recipe for some salmon action, this part of the world anyhow. Can't speak of other parts. Because on the east coast, I'm not sure what happens over there. They prefer different wind scenarios. Predominantly the winds are coming off land. So, just put my bag down, because I will work this area quite aggressively. Spend the next couple of hours here. You only have to stand back here and look at the beautiful setup. So we've got, once again, we've got the sandbar to our left, sandbar to our right, and then smack bang in the middle of this deep pocket of water probably a football size oval or more put the mcg out there another rule with this northwesterly wind i don't really look at the tides later in the day with this un overcast and unstable air mass it doesn't really matter but we'll find that out in a minute you'll see another sandbar out in front of me too in this amongst the deep pocket but if you can cast to the first ledge you're guaranteed something I think one good thing about northwesterly wind or having wind behind your back it aids with casting just as well because the fish are probably going to be holding out a bit further. Not all the time though. And it all depends what part of Australia are in as well, whether that rule applies. Got him. I was casting in a spot where you wouldn't expect to cast then. Like once before, but it's only a trout. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, it's not the biggest thing going around, but it's still a fish. Yeah, 30 centimetres, better than nothing. That was over here, out of all the spots. Oh, that one chased it. They're not attacking it, which is strange. They're not attacking it really violently. Considering the conditions, the weather conditions, that's a surprise. Oh, at my feet.
I mean, it's not the smallest, but it's all right. Another one around that 40 centimetre mark. Oh, yeah, that will do. Well, not to keep, just it will do for the session. Been a while. Not going to lie, it's about half an hour between fish, so I'm just struggling to keep them on the hook. I was just about to leave again. <laughs> Plenty of tats, they're just not taking it. And it's the ideal conditions as well. Well, they say nine times out of ten. Unfortunately. Got him. I can feel it. Tap, 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 tap for ages. There we go. Now we're starting to get some numbers. That's number four. Staying in for the long haul. It's almost going to leave, the other guy did. I reckon it's turning on right on sunset. But the, the sun's gone behind the clouds. So it actually seems later than it is. Probably another 40 minutes to actually sunset. Prime time, 6 o'clock apparently. According to the app. I've used it before and it has worked, sometimes it doesn't. But as soon as I cast right out in the distance there, I'm getting lots of taps. Not aggressive. Oh, at my feet! Straight in the way! Yes! Another one! Woohoo! Now we're starting to get a session. That's five! That one's around 38 centimetres as well. Yeah, that's not bad actually. I might even get my odometer in and check the size of it. My odometer is nowhere near in. Don't get all dirty. And we have from the mouth to the other end. I was right, so it is 40 centimetres. Look at that. Uh, sorry. 38. Th 38 centimetres is what I said. Well, not, I don't know. Roughly 40. 38's not bad. That's one of those sizes that uh, aren't too bad, really. Let's see if there's more. I'm expecting more. Should even change my glasses over. It's getting quite dark. Look how nice this is, though. See you later. Now, I've been catching them very close. Maybe I should only cast a couple of metres out in front of me then. See what happens. Beautiful conditions now. Completely calmed off here. Oh, yes, on again. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad fish. Yeah. I didn't think it was too big, but it is now. Oh, maybe not. We'll find out in a minute. Oh, it got off. It was around 40 centimetres. I've seen enough of it. They're just in this cloud of foam and, and muddy, uh, muddy, sandy looking water there. Getting them straight away almost. Lots of tapping going on. Got him. Yes, we're on like Donkey Kong. Nice. I knew, I knew it would take time. Yeah! Trouble is running under daylight. Oh, look at the bend in that rod. Yes. I mean, that's just 30, that's about 35 centimetres. It's not 38 actually, picking it up. Another 38 centimetre one. Yeah, I wasn't losing this one. Got the hook out. Yeah, another nice specimen. Nice. Yeah, ripper. Right on sunset here I was thinking I was going home with my tail between my legs. Talking about the theory, I mean the, the wind has dropped off significantly. Mind you. So where... Yeah. I mean, it's still a northwesterly flow, 
just looking at this plume of sandy water here. I'm casting about 20 meters, letting it sink and winding. I'm getting hoofs already, I can feel them. Oh yeah, still hitting it, still hitting it, but they're not. Oh, right at the feet there. Wow, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow, that was close. Maybe I'm casting too far. It's a bit shallower. I'm gonna go on out a bit further again because that bird had a little look then at the back. I'll go further out again. Oh, plenty of hits. Come on, hook up. Got him, no, lost him. Got him this time. They're taking a while to hook up, but once you hook them, they're not bad. Yes. That's the smallest so far, but still a fish. Number seven, I think. That's around 30 centimetres. Not the biggest, but it's still a fish. To the right of screen a bit more. Well, I'm over and I can feel tap, tap, taps almost straight away. It's just that they're not hooking. I'm not hooking them straight away like they were. The other session, they just go bang. These ones are going tap, 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 tap the whole way to the shoreline. So every now and again, I'll stop winding and that's when I'm more likely to hook one. Yeah, it's definitely some action out here tonight. But I have got a head torch in the car. I wish I brought it down now, I forgot that. At least I got my clear glasses. Put them in a tick, on a, in a tick, but while it's going off, who cares what it looks like on my eyes? I can see it up, so can the camera. Casting, there's a sandbar out in front of me. Got him. We'll get back to that in a minute. I don't know how well this will be hooked it's right at my feet again and I got I got off, I knew that. So there's a sandbar right at the back. I'm casting right back there and then they're getting them hits there. But I might just chuck it in shallow again. Well, up close, not shallow, it's quite deep drop off. Try and pick that one up, I dropped. Because it hooked it so close to the shoreline, it wasn't hooked very well. I'm also putting in a few jigs as well. A bit of a jigging action every now and again. Reeling faster with the jigging and then when I don't jig I slow right down and then got him. That was on that pause. It's a little bit untraditional for salmon fishing. Normally you're, you're reeling in flat out to get the salmon. Not in this circumstance. Oh, I mean it's another one around that sort of 30 to 32 centimetre mark and they're chunky this year for the size. They've got that big girth, good girth looking trout really. A uh, dinner plate dream for those that eat them. So that fish was right on cue with what I was talking about. Oh, tap, 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 come on. Oh, no, still haven't got him. Stop winding, got him. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, good head shakes, but it's not that big. Shit, I'll have a bag. If I was keeping these, I would have had a bag full today now. Another one around that chunky 33 centimetre mark. Look at that. It's a bit sandy for the camera, but hoping you can still see. Another one around that 33 mark. Yeah, the camera does look bright enough for you. Just tap the screen to see whether it was bright enough. Sure is, but I might change classes very shortly. This has turned into a good bit of a session here. About half an hour ago, I thought, oh, I'm only going to end up with two fish for the day. Sometimes it's good not to give up. I must admit, this spot's been pretty good um, later in the day this year. 
last year I was catching a lot of my fish in the morning. Um, not that I did many morning sessions this year, but every morning session I've tried down here, I haven't succeeded at all. Got one or two fish, but nothing worth running. Oh, hang on. Did I just see something come out of the water? Nice hallucinating now. I have to be careful where I cast. Not sure now. But corner of my eye, it might have been just a wave popping up. Don't know. Well, just like that, I can actually see what I'm doing. It's actually not as dark as I expected. It's just I lose that polarisation. Right. Not to worry. You can still see other features in the water. Casting towards that sandbar and what not. Got him. Only small though. It's not the smallest though. Another one of those 32, 33 centimetre chunks. Not only just hooked because they took it so close to the shoreline. In fact, its mouth's quite bashed up. I wonder if I've already hooked this one. Looked like there was another hook there. Like another hook hole. Maybe I've already hooked this one. I can tell you now, I haven't hooked the same fish nine times. <laughs> Definitely, uh, a patch of fish here, not all that far out. Oh, on the drop, yep, here we go. Take it, take it, take it. Oh, still can't hook him. Unreal. Got him. That, oh, that had to be the closest I've ever hooked a fish, and it was right on the sand, there it goes. Wow! Oh, got him! Oh yeah! It's either foul. Oh no, there it is. No, it's not foul. That's decent again, but fat-wise, yeah, nice. Still don't know whether it's sunset yet. The clouds so thick in the horizon. I should have checked the time earlier. But if it's going like this, who cares? Got him. <clears throat> yeah, a bit of weight there. Another one around that kilo mark. This one could be pushing 40 centimetres. Oh, it cut off anyway. Hmm. I might change lure. I might go a smaller one. A real, I'm going to put a little 28 gram one on, I think. Just so I don't have to, I don't have to cast that far. And I think they might be able to get their mouths around it a bit easier in such calm and uh, short casting conditions. I'll be able to do that. Oh, I reckon this one with the red. Yeah, this little 20. Oh, it's got a stinger hook on there. Ah, uh, that's all right. We'll go that one. It's a 25 gram. I haven't used the 25 gram lure for ages since I lost the laser. Actually, there we go. Put that little sucker on. See what happens. Let's close that box just in case birds want to have a peck at the. Lewis, hour oh, and time. A quick squiz at that time. Well, there you go. It's right on six o'clock. And guess what? Prime time was six to eight. Six to eight or something. With that stinger hook on, I should hook one pretty easily now, surely. Now I'll see what this little lure does. 
Go oh yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh yep. Yeah. Oh shit. It's either fair hooked or I've got a big 50 centimetre. Because that's massive. Oh yes, good fish. Oh big! Big! Look at the rod! I'm in trouble here. This is big. Really big. I'm not kidding. I might get reefed. I'm gonna get reefed. Uh oh. It's either that or I've got two. Is it a stinger? It's a horse. It's a horse. I'm walking back. That's a horse. I'm still walking back so I don't lose it. <laughs> That's a horse. Well, it is from back there. Let's have a closer look. Ah, yes. PB. I've said it before, but this is definitely a... It has to be. Big. Only just hooked on the stinger. You ripper! What a fish! <laughs> yes! Sunset has turned it on! Nice! And it's only hooked in the side with the stinger hook. Out of all hooks. Yeah! Get the tape measure out on that one. Can it be PB? Nah. Let's have a look. I need 58. There's the tail. Get that clean so we can see it, guys. Uh, from the mouth. To there. No! Wow, I need to go to spec savers. It's only 50. 50 centimetre chunk. On the stinger hook. Straight away. Change lure, 25 gram, and now I'm getting these stompers. Right on six o'clock as well. Oh, I'll take that any day of the week, thanks. Nice one, 50 centimetre chunk. I did call it, didn't I? I said it was a 50 centimetre when it was in the water, I think. And there it is one. Whoops, that wasn't the release I was expecting. One last look at it. See you later. I actually thought I was going to get reefed. It just took off nice and strong. See if there's another 50 out there with this Stinger 25 gram lure. Somehow I wish I had lights. Not to worry. Try my best to get as many as possible. Oh, it's only just hooked on the stinger hook too. Barely hooked. So they're pretty good hooks then, those assists. That could have been the ringleader. No hits. That cast. Not like before, I was getting hits after hits. I reckon I just took the ringleader out of that pack. And the rest of them are lost. Where are they now? Last cast. Otherwise I end up wrecking something. I know reeling in, you can't see the lure, and you can't see the end of your rod. You may end up tipping your rod tip out if you're reeling in and you wind the lure right up to your guide. Well, it's pretty dark. You probably can't see an absolute thing, but we'll call it a session down here. We're checking out whether the uh, northwesterly winds have an influence on this salmon adventures. Nine times out of ten it does. Today, it was a little bit off. I mean, I was expecting it to be on a bit earlier than now. But in saying that, right on sunset, it went bang. I think we ended up with a bag load of, bag load of salmon. Could have been 10 or 12 salmon, I don't know got uh, out of hand there for a bit but only an hour before hour before now I thought I was going to go leave this beach with only two fish so until next time thanks for watching
see us in the next one.